Hey y'all. So it is practice group study chat time, study group chat. I don't know how I want to say that yet. I still haven't quite figured it out. Anyway, so last week we did marble and while I get set up, we're going to take a look at everybody's work. Ding, ding. Oh, this is my work, by the way. I lost my pom-pom. I tried to marble it with, nah, whatever. I didn't do a great job because um, <laughs> I did the lazy girl method and it's very hard to marble with the lazy girl method. But I, I gave it a shot. Anyway, let's take a look at everybody's work while I get set up. It was lovely. Well, I gotta tell you guys, if nothing else comes from my YouTube career, that study group is my mark. Not my mark, it's not, you know what I mean? But if nothing else comes out of it, that is, even if I never get paid, if I never, you know, do anything great, that is more than I could ever hope for. You know, it just, it makes me so happy that everybody found the support that they need and just friends, you know, that makes me so happy. You have no idea. So let's get to work. So we did marble last week. This week we are gonna work on ultra clear. I know the clear nails aren't super trendy anymore, but there are some trends where you are gonna need that extra, extra clear. So we're gonna do that. Now, I'm not gonna give you an example set. I wanna see what y'all come up with because honestly, the freestyles have been amazing. So you wanna start with your clear tips, okay? Just as clear as you can get them. Now, this is gonna go against, for this we do things a little differently, okay? Um, now, you know how we usually blend our tips? We're gonna do that, but we're gonna do so little of it that it, it, it kind of feels wrong, okay? So we're gonna turn our sanding band down and we are just gonna blend the part that's on the nail and be very careful not to go beyond that. You don't wanna buff anywhere where you want it to be extra clear, you know? You wanna make sure that you're keeping that tip nice and clear, extra clear, ultra clear. Now I am gonna be using Nail Supply Glamour's Crystal Clear because that is the clearest that I've found in all of my shopping. So what I've decided to do is one of the old butterfly trends just for, you know, I'm gonna use these beautiful neons. I am going to be using some Mylar. And where's it at, where's it at, where's it at? If I can find it, I will be using my what was it called? Uh, razzle Dazzle. Yeah, I'm a Razzle Dazzle. Because I like how it goes with the neon and yada yada. Anyway. Okay, so, but I want mostly clear. So, uh, you guys do however much clear you see fit. So, a couple quick tips to get the clearest of the clear. You are going to want to use your lint-free wipes and acetone. That is imperative. Buffing is imperative and very, very little and I mean little brushwork. I know, I know. We want to do just as little brush manipulation as we can. And the reason for that is your brush is what pushes bubbles into the acrylic and what makes it foggy. I know that seems counterintuitive that you should be able to smush it out, but you can't, so I don't know why. I'm just gonna dump some Mylar out there. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like pink fire. Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm very um, in love with Mylar just my whole life. Like, straight up I'd marry it if I could. I'm gonna be using, let's see, what pink, sh oh, I gotta tell y'all, Ozzy came in here to try to mess with my hand and Cersei put some work on him, y'all. Uh, let's use this pink, should we use th this one? Let's use this one, okay. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna put some butterflies in here, if I can get them out. So, uh, Cersei got out of her cage the other day and I did not know. Uh, the door was left cracked by somebody who shall remain nameless, Loki. Um, anyway, by the way, if y'all have not watched the Loki series on Disney Plus, you need to watch it, it is awesome. Anyway, uh, I didn't know that. And Ozzy kept coming in here and like jumping at the floor and I thought he was just being a weirdo, you know, cause it's Ozzy. He's weird, and that's fine, I love him. I love him for it. But um, 
I got him out of my office and he came back in and was doing it again. And then I hear him yell and take off running. So I come in here to look at maybe he stepped on something or whatever. Um, Cersei was on the floor with all of her spikes out. And I guess she was fine. No injuries, no nothing. I guess he thought it was a regular, you know, little animal or whatever. And when she turned around and gave him the spikes and puffed up real big, it scared him. <laughs> I guess he won't be trying to eat my hand or lizards anymore. Okay, let's get started. First thing we want to do is burp our brush. Now to burp your brush, what you're going to do is put your brush down in your monomer and push all of the air out. You see all that air? That would have been bubbles in our acrylic. I just did my nails, so there's a little acrylic at the bottom of that. Now, once the bubbles stop coming out, you have effectively burped your brush. So I'm gonna lay some clear down to put, basically hold my uh, butterflies and mylar. And I'm gonna start down here just like we would with anything else. Like I'm encapsulating here, so it might be a little difficult. Now you wanna you wanna work this as little as possible, and in my experience, the wetter, you know, slightly wetter is better. You don't want to work it too much with your brush because that is gonna push air into that acrylic, and it's gonna look foggy until the until you're done, basically. So that's okay if you see a little fog, if it looks like this. So you don't want to work it too much, just the bare minimum. Lay that down. You see how I'm not touching the surface very much? I'm trying to let it kind of guide itself. There we go. And if it's not perfectly even, that's fine, because remember, you know, you can always buff it, file it, add some more acrylic, whatever. Now, I can see that I have a few bubbles, and that's okay. A few little bubbles is fine. And you can kind of see that the more I work it, the more bubbles it adds. Let me zoom in here for you. So you see these little tiny bubbles? Those don't show up too much once you buff it and everything, but the more you work it and the more you push it around with your brush, the worse that's gonna get. You can see like the more I work it, see down here where I've worked it the most, you can see a ton of bubbles. All right, so I am going to add a little glitter, a little mylar. Just a little. Now, I don't know what the proper, like if dryer beads work or whatever, just in my experience, the wetter beads tend to help me stay clear. Now you can see a couple little bubbles there, which we're gonna work those out. If you have those, those big ones, that you can use your brush to push out, you know, the big ones. Don't try to do that with the little ones because you're never gonna get them out. Okay, <clears throat> now since I'm doing a clear nail, I'm just gonna do a thin layer of clear over top of this. So I'm gonna take the biggest bead of clear that I can do. And remember, I, I, I suggest burping your brush between each bead because that air can you know collect in there. So again, we wanna let it work its way down as much as we can without having to use our brush too much. Now, if, like I said, if there are big bubbles, go ahead and push those out with your brush, but don't try to use your brush to get out the smaller ones, because it's just not gonna work. I'm trying to see if I can show you what happens. So, I'm going to tap it with my brush and I want you guys to see the bubbles that pop up when I do that. Now, see how it's kind of pushing more and more bubbles into it? That's why we want to use as little brush as possible. Hmm. It's striped. It's weird. All right. And you're gonna just keep building with your clear 
let it do its work, let it do it on its own. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a good clear, it will self-level, which is very helpful. Now the sides you're fine with. That's where you want to, you know, use your brush most of the time. Just enough to, to smooth it out, basically. Now, you guys noticed I did my normal filing routine because that doesn't matter. You file it however you file. Once the acrylic's dry, that's not gonna cause you any, any fogginess or bubbles, right? So you don't need to worry about that much. Just file the way you normally would. What it comes down to is finishing. Now, after you've done your filing and your buffing, if you're like me, you buff with a coarse buffing block, but for the clear clear, what it's what is going to help you the most is after you buff with your coarse side of course you know if you're anything like me and get it nice and smooth now once you've done that i want you to take the fine side or a very fine grit file and go over the surface again and that's really going to smooth out smooth that oops, sorry shaking you guys around a lot that's gonna smooth everything out the rest of the way okay now after we do that what I want you to do is melt it I know I know it sounds weird right so you're gonna take your acetone let me turn this back around there we go so you're gonna take your acetone let's focus there we go and you're just gonna scrub the crap out of it like a lot make sure you do underneath as well I know yeah make sure you do underneath too see how we're getting clearer we're not quite there yet though so just keep rubbing and keep rubbing and keep rubbing until it's it feels smooth under your hand under your fingers whatever then all right so I'm gonna do this to the rest of them buff and and smooth and then I'll be right back okay so I've buffed everything I've wiped with my acetone on top and underneath. Make sure there's no acrylic under there. Go back over it with your file if you need to. Take like a needle bit and go underneath, you know. Oh, whatever. We're just dropping things tonight. So you can already see that it's coming pretty clear, right? Except for the parts where I pushed bubbles in there. Now we're gonna scrub the crap out of it with acetone and that is gonna completely smooth out our surface. Dusty. And now the reveal. Cause it still looks kind of foggy, right? So let's get up close. And there is our clear. Now you can see, let me, let me show you. You see that little line right there? That is my glue underneath. So if you need to go under there and clean that up, do that. <laughs> because it will, sh if you've done it right and it's as clear as we can make it, you're gonna see all the mistakes underneath, which normally we don't need to worry about, but today we do. Also, another cool thing, top coat underneath. That also gives you a little extra, little extra clear, you know what I mean? And it keeps it clear. So that if you know, you're touching, you're blah, 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 you get acetone underneath, whatever, that kind of smooths everything out and gives you a little, a little extra oomph. There we go, super clear. So, I'm gonna finish these up. Now, show me what you got, ladies. You can do negative space, you can do what I did here. Just have fun with it and show me what you come up with. All right, so I'm gonna finish these up and I will see you, ladies, in the group chat. Yeah, absolutely, 
you want to make sure you're buffing it with the fine end of the block. You want to make sure you're rubbing it really good with acetone and you want to make sure that you are top coating underneath and that is how you get the super clear. So I will see you ladies in the group chat and as always, thanks for watching.